Welcome back, guys, to another episode. I hope everyone's doing well today. It's another beautiful day here in Ontario, Canada. And it's another special day here because we have ourselves a food review. We went to Arby's today and we got ourselves a nice little sandwich. Let's see what we got. Napkins. So, this right here is the brand new Arby's brisket sandwich. So this just came out, uh, I believe at the beginning of this month. So a few days ago, um, it's relatively um, new as far as reviews. I haven't seen many other people review or anything like that. And um, the burger itself or the sandwich itself came out to 890. So um, yeah, I just got it by itself. I didn't get it with uh, anything else so let's take a closer look what we got it's kind of uh whoa. okay we're gonna take a closer look. so there's barbecue sauce in there um it looks like kind of like onion small kind of onion rings there's the brisket um taking it out you know you see that kind of Classic Arby's bun. It's, looks like it's got that cheese on the bottom. And uh, yeah, it looks like, looks like a good sandwich, I'm not gonna lie. So what's on this sandwich as far as the description goes, as far as the website, Smokehouse Brisket Limited Availability. That's why we had to get on this early, guys. We set out to make a sandwich with layers of smoky flavor, and this is the result. Our, our brisket is smoked for at least 13 hours in a pit smoker. We top that delicious smoked beef with cheddar cheese, crispy onions, and barbecue sauce and serve it all on an artesian style roll. The bun looks nice. It is a really nice bun, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this sandwich out. So enough talking, let's give it a go, shall we? Taste and value. We're gonna go taste first. <clears throat> this first taste, I like the barbecue sauce. The cheese isn't really melted or anything like that. The brisket is pretty, um, it's a little dry, but at the same time is like, uh, it's tender in itself. I really do like the, the bun. It's really soft and uh, it, it blends nicely when you're like sinking your teeth into the whole sandwich. The crunch from the onions, it's not crazy. Um, but it's, it's there. I wouldn't say it's subtle, but it, it, it's there. I don't know if it adds to it or not. Um, the quality seems like it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah. So as far as taste, I like it. Like I would probably give this, um, I'd get it again. Uh, like as far as RV sandwiches go, it's pretty nice in the lineup because it's, you know, exactly kind of like. There are other sandwiches, except like just a pr more premium version of it, like of the sandwich style, because it has a better meat, it has some more toppings. It's nice. It it blends well together. I like it. There's a good amount of meat on it too, so I'm a fan. I'd probably give this one a seven point five.
<clears throat> as far as value goes, um, I get food costs that went up and stuff like that. Eight nine is a little steep for the sandwich. Uh, but at the same point, I get brisket. There's more work that went into this with the 13 hour um, kind of slow cooking and stuff like that. But, you know, from a fast food place, I think that the value is not too bad. If you're just in a rush to kind of get something, an alternative sandwich for lunch that's, you know, under 10 bucks. It's just a sandwich, though, mind you. If you went and you got the meal, it would cost you probably closer to, the, you know, it'd be mid 13 something like that give or take but this also comes in um a poutine for i think a little bit cheaper so that's another option if you wanted to try i think they have a spicy brisket poutine as well um for the same price um the same calories and stuff so i think that the the value on this it's it's not too bad it's not too good i would probably say it's around uh you know i'd give it a six and a half six and a half on the on the value it's not exceptional but it's not like the worst you know um it's all right so yeah i'd recommend going out trying it out if you have an arby's near you or if they have this at your arby's i'm not quite sure about the states and stuff like that um i would assume that they would but you'd have to double check call you know see if they they have the new smokehouse brisket sandwich and uh give it a shot so thanks guys for tuning in checking out the video and uh, don't forget to share like subscribe and uh thanks again for tuning in i'll see you guys on the next episode